Hello and welcome to another painting video. Today we are going to be painting Padme from Star Wars Legion. Um, since her uniform is mostly white, we went ahead and already primed her white. Um, and now we're just going to get into it. So first we're going to start with her flesh. We're going to go with this pale flesh um, from Vallejo Game Color. Uh, she does have a little more of an olive skin tone, so I not quite sure how to tackle that. I might, I think I have, I have a few ideas. We'll see if that works out as I go on, as this happens later. Um, but for now, we're just gonna hit it with this pale flesh color. She comes with, with a couple ways to build her. You can build her with or without this scarf on her. And you can uh, also give her, choose the gun that she has. Um, she has this droid blaster, and then she also has, um, her regular, um, gun looks like this. And it's the paint scheme we're also going for. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and paint her. Make sure we get all the little low spots and stuff hidden behind her hair. Um, Try to do this pretty light coat on her and we don't want it to mega dye her so we'll get her hand painted other hand uh, i didn't know this model was out yet i went to the store today and i saw it and i wasn't planning on getting it um because i don't have room in my army for a specialist right now but with how rare some of these things have been getting to get, I just kind of just went with it and took it. All right, so that's her skin base coated. Um, one thing that you'll notice about my painting is that I do not paint eyes. <laughs> I'm not that at that level. Um, I, even as long as I've been painting, my hands are way too bad for that. Um, so now we're going to go for her boots and belts and, and like the, um, this little cape thingy that she's got going on. So we're going to use this German camo beige from Vallejo. I think this is going to be a good color for that. Um, it's still, ooh, that was watery. It's very, it's still close to her white color. Um, that I think it'll, it'll be good. I think this is a... This would be a good choice for this color. We're trying to paint her like the box art. Um, like I've said in some of my other videos, you don't have to paint it that way. Um, you can kind of paint however you want, but I am going for Star Wars colors. Um, I'm a huge fan of the clones and the Clone Wars. Um, I have a lot of clones painted already. Let's see if I can grab one of these. Right here. So here's my Captain Rex. Again, but there's a 3D printed jetpack because once the Arc Troopers comes out, um, you'll be able to give him a jetpack. And I wanted it modeled on my on my guy so you can see it. Um, so I had an extra one from a, a Commander Fox model that I bought and put it on him. So, so I'm gonna keep painting these colors. I wanted to go for her when she was captured, um, but I, I like the, the cape on her. I like the, the droid blaster rather than her other blaster. So this is more of a Cool. It's more of a cool look for her. It's really, it's a really nice pose. The pose is different on the other. If you build her the other way too, um, so that's pretty neat. That you know, Fantasy Flight is doing something different things with their models. It's cool. Adds a little bit of variety. The plastic still is like a weird hard plastic, um, but it doesn't bother me at all. It bothers some people, but I'm not talented enough for to know why. 
Um, so you can see this is her regular gun. We'll just paint the holster. The so good thing about painting white is that when you make mistakes, it is very noticeable. I hit my camera again, I'm sorry. Um, but we'll do our best to go back over it. careful around the white because um, it's a very hard color to touch up for me anyway and um, probably other, if you have tips on how to fix that let me know um, in the comments but I'm trying to paint this early because I might want to do some dry brush on it to help bring out the pattern a little bit more. I mean, of course, the wash is going to bring it out, but... Try to help it as much as we can here. Let's stabilize this on here. very you can see like as compared to the games workshop models that I've been painting on this channel though that these models are a lot simpler to paint um, but it also depends on how you want to paint them too if you want to go crazy go crazy um, and then it, you can make this model just as complicated as a games workshop one to paint if you want to um, but I like to go for the traditional colors for my Star Wars stuff So that's her cape painted. Okay. So now we're gonna go. Uh, should I touch up the way right now? No, because I have some other colors to do. So let's do. So that was that color. Let's go with uh, black gray. We're going to paint the gun this color. I like black gray because it's not flat, just a flat black. Um, you can go black if you want to. You don't have to use the colors that I use. We're just going to... Get a nice coat of it on this gun here. This stolen droid blaster. The handguard. Ooh, I actually hit her face with the brown. Does she have a does she have a beauty mark on her face? I don't think it's that big though. <laughs> to go back over that too. Keep it clean. For white, you want to try your best to keep it clean. It is very difficult sometimes though, especially if you got shaky hands, but just stay with it. 
and do your best, and then you'll get it. So that is the gun base coated. Base coat. Ah, oh, I got my bit. Okay. Let's get the face fixed before it gets too messed up. If I get too deep into this and forget about it, and then I have a big stain on her face. Okay, cool. Does she have a mustache? No. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get the silvery colors with the gunmetal from Vallejo Game Color. And those are just like her little, she has these little bracers on her upper or biceps right here. So we're gonna get those. See, that's why we didn't go back over the white yet, because we're definitely gonna mess this up a little bit. So we need to get her little well T blaster. Okay. I know the handle on it is wood. So let's paint that with the the leather brown, the Vallejo leather brown. We're also going to be painting her hair with that color as well. Um, it's, a nice, it's a nice dark brown. It's a good for a base coat. Um, so it's Okay, now let's get her hair. Now it's hard to see where her hairline is. I already have messed up her skin a little bit, but we'll go back. I can always go back. It's cool that you can see some of the white through this. It's giving it like a little bit of contrast. Just like a watered down brown. So that's her hair. Um, let me fix the spot that I messed up right there. Maybe we can mix a little bit of this brown into the flesh color to kind of go more for that olive look that we were looking for. Let me just take some of this. See if we can kind of pull it down. some brown and then we'll try to get the edges of her hair there. Okay. That's good. So let's let let's let that dry. While that's drying we'll get we'll clean up the white. Uh, so we base coated it with the Army Painter spray paint um, called, I think it's matte white. 
Um, and the good thing about that is that all their spray paints also have paints that are equivalent so they match perfectly with the paint underneath it, which is like a problem if you don't, if you just get some random white spray paint, um, it might not match the white that you have in your painting collection. So getting like the, the branded um, paints is definitely beneficial. The branded spray paints. There's some white showing through on that. I wonder if they add up the color. Um, so let's take our white and just go through the model and see if it where we messed up. Get it cleaned up. She's a princess after all. You gotta or a queen, sorry. Kind of break rank on her. Um, so she's not. Oops. Just hit it with the brush. All right. Let's clean up the underarm here. Looking good. Cool. So I think that basically does it for the base coat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash her. Um, we're gonna take, <sighs> okay, so for the browns, I missed some, hold on, I missed some spots here with the, and here just in the little, in the gun there. Okay, so for the, the tans and stuff, we're gonna hit her with a, the Agrax Earth Shade from Citadel. Um, and that's gonna really bring out the browns. Especially like, and we're gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna try to, I think I'm gonna hit her skin with this too, um, to darken it a little bit, and give it a little bit more of that olive color. Um, Let's get her boots first. You want to stay away from the white. You want to not hit the white with this brown wash. And watch as I like soak the white in it. <laughs> Actually, you also want to try to get those little silver bits too. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave those. I'm gonna dab this off because it's wet still, so you can hit it with a paper towel and it'll take the take it right off. Um, let's get her cute. Really darken those like little recesses there. Is this still wet? Should have been dry by now, especially with how hot it is back here. Um, it's definitely acting like it's still wet in some of these spots. It's a little weird. It's okay, it'll also give us a little bit of a variety in our paint. I don't know why it's not drying as, as it should. Um, it's been definitely long enough for the paint to be dry. It's just having performance anxiety. Yeah. Like that. 
for the back of her belt. Okay. Now let's take this. Let's get it kind of thin. Don't want a whole lot on here. And just hit her face with it and see what that does. And for me, I'm fine with it darkening the eye sockets since I don't paint them, like I was saying earlier. Um, get her hair with it too. That'll give us a couple different colors on her hair. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's not terrible. Now that's all that's left to wash is the white. We're going to use the Citadel Wash Nuln Oil. It's a black wash. And that's going to bring out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shade it a lot. Um, and you want to keep this pretty thin. You don't want to like just glob it on. Or if you do glob it on, make sure you move that glob as much as you can um, around because you just don't want it to have a big black spot. You just kind of want to expose those wrinkles on the clothing. Um, so try to move as much of it as you can around while it's still on your brush. Um, just to give the idea of shadows. You don't, you don't need to go crazy black with this. Um, and if you know, if you if you do a little bit, it's okay. It's your it's Star Wars, right? You can say it's the animated series. Um, everything in that show is kind of dark. Um, on purpose, so just touch it with your hands to clean it up a little bit. And get the. Actually, I have too much on the back right there, so you can just kind of dry your brush off and then go back over it. And it cleans a lot of it up. Um, it does take a while for this stuff to dry. Um, and if you wanted to, once this is dry, you could just dry brush back over the top of it with that same white that she was originally. And that will get you a nice little highlight of the areas and then the darks will still stay dark. Um, just to kind of knock back some of the darkness that if you overdid it too much. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not the end of the world if you do it too much or... So that basically does it for Padme for Star Wars Legion. Um, if you guys have any tips or any questions go ahead and drop them in the comments um you, uh, like i said last night if you have any suggestions for things for me to paint go ahead and throw those in the comments as well uh, if you like what you see definitely would appreciate a like uh, a subscribe um and get down to the here Thanks for watching.